I was born September 30th, 1930. My father and mother, they encouraged all of their children to get an education. I had no problem because I studied hard. I had a brother before me who was one year older and we used to race to see who could make the highest grade. Well, he graduated a year ahead of me. He was very good in math. So I decided to take trigonometry my senior year and I made a straight A and all my other classmates wanted to know why. Well, I didn't tell them the secret because during that time in high school, everyone's supposed to prepare a notebook for each subject. And I kept, he gave me his mathematic notebook. After graduating from Howard High School in 1949, I went to Allen University in Columbia, South Carolina. I majored in English and a minor in French. From there, I came back home because Daddy told us he has he had six children, and he was gonna give each one four years. So when you go there, you must study. And that's what I did because I was the oldest girl. After graduating from Allen University, my brother attended Howard University. And from there, he decided he was going to be a dentist. He practiced den dentistry at, up to today. He only does it one day out of the week. So after I helped him to go to school, and then we helped the other four children to go to college. And upon my graduation, the money was very slow. We didn't hardly get any money, probably, what some teachers make a day now. We made it for a month. $169 was my first month payment. I was so broken hearted. I didn't cash the check until two weeks after when daddy said, Mary, you just as well cash your check because you don't get no more money keeping it in on your dresser. Well, then I decided that I needed some more education. The state required that we get 18 hours above before we could get a permanent certificate. I got the permanent certificate. Then I don't know. Upon returning home, I knew we said, I knew Daddy didn't say it, but I knew it was my obligation to help my other brother and sisters behind me, and that's what I did. And while I was doing that, I decided to get my master's degree. Well, I got my master's degree from South Carolina State. In 1969, a friend of mine, Thelma Gilliard, said, let's organize a chapter of Delta in Georgetown. I said, great, we'll do that. Uh, I wrote to the Delta organization at headquarters in Washington, D.C. They sent us all the rules and regulations. That time we needed 12 members to organize a chapter. The two of us, Thelma Gilliard, we got 12 um, individuals who graduated from Allen and they all were Deltas right there for this ceremony. That's where the chapter was organized June 4, 1969 in my house. Now they call my house the Delta House because my husband passed and I'm the only one in here and anything with Delta material is a secret so they come here anytime they want to have their meetings. Now I have upon also I involved with politics. How I got in politics, I don't know. But right now I am the executive committee man for precinct number three, my precinct. And we this precinct has the highest black um population. Uh, so when they I always tell those candidates you got to visit me and my other constituents in Precinct 3, uh, you don't plan to win. 
that if you don't if you um, ostracize us, I guarantee you, you will not make it to the top. Um, then I also help them go around and show them a different one individual state who were the, the influential one in this area. Make sure they stop out. Give them your platform. From that, dealing with politics, I decided to join the Democratic Women's Council in Georgetown in order to be abreast of all the situation. Now I am active with the National Committee um, program, the state, the local. So I support them, do whatever I can to help them. From that situation, at Bethel Church, we have what we call the after-school program, where we have the children up to sixth grade to get their homework. For parents who don't know how to do it, we help the kids. We don't sign off on them. We say, you go back home, let your parents sign off that you did your homework. And that program is going on today. We still have that program. And from there, uh, when I came back home when I was 20 years old, my father was involved in the church. My father took me to church school down that would be called it in the, in the Methodist church, but if, before we used to call it the Sunday school. Um, I became a teacher on the intermediate level, at the senior level. And when I know again, I was assistant superintendent. And from there, I became the superintendent. Now I am the Christian Ed Director. I'm of all the children program in the church. In the church, I am the president of our matronship board. I'm a class leader of class number two. I was the first hostess in the church under the late Reverend or oh, what his name was, uh, Holman, and oh, retired teachers association in Georgetown, a treasurer, secretary, and vice president. So now I just gave up the office in May from vice president again. I said, we have too many members for one person. They said, but you love to work. I said, yes, but some of others have to do the work also. So now I don't hold any office, but I all.